Okay, so in this segment we're going to customize the blade of the stick, uh, being the second demonstration, as we've already uh, customized the shaft with the background color and the text on it. So we're going to customize the blade, and the first thing we're going to go to is add an image. So we're going to add an image. Now we can add an image from my computer, my images, or Facebook. My images is where you would actually continue to store your images as you're designing your sticks. But for this particular demonstration, I'm going to select something from my computer. And I'm going to go to my uh, desktop here and uh, choose, here we go, a picture right here. And that's just going to upload into the file. And uh, once that uploads, we're going to be able to see the picture on the left hand side in its entirety and gives us the opportunity to crop the picture. Now this is cropping the picture by clicking and dragging it up uh, as to wherever you want to go and it shows you the preview on the left hand side uh, or on the right hand side sorry. Uh, and so for this particular demonstration I'm going to keep the entire picture in and I'm going to finish cropping and now what will happen is it shows the picture on the template here and I'm going to just enlarge it a little bit so I'm going to just click and drag to enlarge the picture a little bit as I can see it over the blade portion here and you can see it just goes a little bit bigger and now I'm going to click and drag the picture over the blade itself and just sort of put it over the blade and you can see it there uh, now, in order to turn it, if I want to turn it, I can turn it either way uh, to fit onto the blade. And we're just going to put it onto the blade in the sort of similar direction. And now I can adjust it just a little bit closer onto the blade itself. Um, and this is a little bit, again, this is something you might want to just play a little around, play around a little bit with uh, just to get it on. And in position, it takes a little bit of, um, you know, just some positioning with, with it. So we've got it into position there. And the next thing we can do, and this is very useful. Now you can see the square picture on the blade. There's these arrange buttons here. Bring forward, send backward, bring to front, and send to back. What we're going to do is we're going to click send to back. And once we've done that, you can see what that does. And I'm just going to click here real quick in the open space. You can see the picture shown on the blade itself. Now, if you need, just need to readjust it a little bit, you can again, of course, use your zoom button if you'd like to, to get in closer. Or you can then just sort of click on it again, and it gives you the opportunity to be able to move. And you want to take that white text and just move the picture around a little bit to get it into position. Um, and it might need to go a little bit larger so we can just enlarge it a little bit and again taking that time just to be able to put it in position um, and there we go now we've got it feathered off on the bottom here and that's with this special effect here once the special effect is here it shows you a box right on the heel of the stick and this by pulling it out gives you, of course, you can see more of the image coming in. And once it goes right out to the edge, you'll see there it is, the bottom of the actual blade or the picture itself. So we want to just feather it a little bit here to bring it in, just so it's a little bit faded. It doesn't look quite so uh, jagged on it. So there we have it. We've got the blade, the picture on the blade. And you can adjust this and play around with all kinds of different pictures and images and fade ins and fade outs and whatnot. And once we're done with that, we've got our logo, uh, sorry, our text on the shaft and our background image. We're going to go to approve checkout. Now, if you wanted to cancel and return to a particular start all over, you would cancel, but that would take out the entire stick. You'd be starting all over again from scratch. So we're going to approve this. And of course, by clicking this approval, you do accept all the conditions that you've checked your artwork because once we have received it, we don't make any adjustments to the actual artwork itself. We print as we receive. So we click, we accept the conditions, and we're going to continue 
and this just takes a few moments for it to load into the actual um, saving location for what we're uh, for when it's been um, saved into the system. And once that comes up, you'll see it uh, comes up here, and it shows our one stick in the shopping cart, and it shows there's our proof right there. There is our um, quantity, so this is the entire um, one stick that we've just produced. Now, if we want to do more, we would go to continue shopping, or in this particular case, let's proceed to checkout. So now this takes our stick to the checkout, and this would continue to compile as a summary if we had one, two, three, four, and so on sticks. It would show in our order item summary. Now we're going to close off and we're going to put our order in. We click on open terms and now it says are you sure you're ready to check out? As soon as you click OK your order will be completed. So make sure you have your entire order in the system before you click on to this um, particular stage. And we're going to do that and we're done and the order goes in.